playing with your hair while you're around me? I know that you're into me. Hi, guys. Stop blaming me for scratching your head. I think fondling the long bits is more sexual than scratching it's heads. It's so much noise. What are you doing to that bottle? I'm opening it. It reminds me of the movie last night, The Girl with the Eyes. Stabbing them. Well, anyway, hi guys. We are in Germany. We're in Frankfurt now. Yeah, you missed out at Berlin. You missed out. I'm sorry. We really wanted to do. Ow, fuck. Sharp. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. If I could. So ladylike you are. <laughs> we tried to do a podcast in Berlin, but we kind of ran out of time in between doing workshops and drinking for like 24 hours because of Peter's birthday and can't tell him what day it is I'm not telling him what day it if was you tell but him what day it is I'm going to talk it about was Peter's things. birthday while we were in Berlin but I was sworn to secrecy so it was during a workshop though shut that no that's it I'm <laughs> going to talk about what you said I wasn't going to talk about <laughs> hey I didn't say much anyway it was while we were in Berlin but we I mean maybe drank a bit too much and we only drank because we were unhappy. We couldn't get into Burgheim. Yeah, we tried to go to Burgheim. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw you, they said, no, sorry. I don't I looked think at you. You're the front of the three of us. The guy was giving me the eyes. I looked past but You got us cancelled. So I messaged yeah. one of my best friends back home and I was like, wasn't cool enough to get into Burgheim. And she just sent back like the biggest amount of ha-ha-has that I think I've ever seen. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, thanks. <laughs> I feel offended. And then we heard it was a dud night, so we couldn't even get in on a dud night. But it was a white noise night. I would love to have gone to a white noise night. Oh, well, we tried. You know, so sorry we didn't do a potty from Berlin, but we're in Frankfurt now. Yes. Got here today and it was a mission to get here. Oh, for who? <laughs> All of sorry, us. Sorry, me, the... Backpack animal. <laughs> she books me on a, a, a train as a senior and then I have to carry 300 kilos of <laughs> luggage. So she, Beck tells me, oh, we're down this end of the platform. We're waiting there. No, nah, we're the 100% the other end of the platform. Don't try and make like it was my fault. So we got there nice and early because I've had hell with trains in Europe before. So we got there super early. We got to the platform. We're standing there and then it was like, platform change so then we've got to change platforms and then we're waiting there and then it got delayed then it got delayed then it got delayed it was like 45 minutes delayed and then they changed the track thankfully the, when they changed it it was just from like four to five or whatever so it was just across from left to right yeah and then we're standing there waiting for like the little first class thingy which said that it was at G and then at the last minute they changed the direction the train was train coming, coming from. In. So then all of a sudden first is all the way up the other end. So then we've got to run. So it's not my fault that they kept changing things. But they didn't see what I – so I have four 26 to 30 kilo bags yeah. on wheels and I try and rope them together with my – Computer bag. Because I try and help you and you're like, no, 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 no. Well, I'm still faster than you. A little bit. A little bit. Me, me, me. But you, well, I was trying to take some of the weight and you were like, no, 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 because it evens you out and you've said if you've got an yeah, even. Yeah, it evens, So yeah. stop trying to make me sound like a bad person. You are a bad person. I'm not. <laughs> you didn't book a seat. So once we're getting the, oh, the train, the first carriage you went into is a quiet. No, because there's I, no way known we're going to be quiet. I wasn't. I said I was like, this is this carriage is like this is first we can get on here, and you're like, no, up here, up here. And I was yeah, like, I was just scared just... that there was lots of people getting on earlier. So yeah, we because have they didn't want to get into the quiet carriage. I've never and then, heard of a quiet carriage. What's it's a this thing. Quiet carriage? It's a thing. And then you're the one who told us to get in the quiet carriage. No, it didn't have. I I was sorry. I have to carry all the bags, and there was no room in the other carriages for all our bags. Yes. But we got on there and then we were making lots of noise and then Anne thankfully messaged Told us. Shh. Hi, Anne. She's in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> she's in <waiting>. fact, <laughs> Anne will listen to this when she gets back to Australia in two months' time <laughs> while she's vacuuming. Anne's doing, <laughs> Anne's doing admin though. She's, she's shy. Oh, no, I think, no, she'll be too busy feeding her cats because I don't think her partner's fed her cats once since we've been away. But she was the one who was like, I think we're in a quiet carriage. 
And then we, so then I've we. I've never go, heard of a quiet carriage. I have. So then we have to get all of the suitcases, get out of the quiet carriage, find somewhere. We find a nice little four seater to sit, get comfy, and then all of a sudden, oh, this is reserved. Oh, okay. We'll find somewhere else. Find where else to sit. This is reserved. And when I booked the train tickets, there was never an option for me to pick our seats or anything. But as I said to the conductor, so where do you sit? And she goes, in the ones that don't have black next to the seat. I said, well, all those spokes. No, in the ones that do, in the ones that don't have like a. Yeah, a name. Mix. Oh, sorry, something mixed. Like on the it. stations. But all the ones that didn't have a station, so there's people sitting in. I went through right through first class and there was no spare. And I've. I can't, like, I've taken many a train through Europe before and I've never had this before. I've never had to reserve my seat. I've never heard of this. And I didn't get an option to do it. And thankfully the lovely lady who came and checked our ticket actually spoke English, which I know sounds really rude because I'm in another country and I don't speak their language and actually I should probably learn a bit of their language, so I'm thankful. that. But anyways, it's really hard because I'm it's lazy. to Shiza. You know, you probably shouldn't say that. Oh, what does I, it mean? I think that's like like swear words. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe that why someone looked at me <laughs> weird when I said that to them. No, I actually, I always, I always do feel bad when we're in someone else's country and they're like, oh, sorry, my English is really bad. I'm like, no, I should be sorry. I don't speak your language. Like, I'm in your country and I don't, I don't speak your Anyway. Point well, she... I, put, I put it up with, I say to people, until you can shoot one light properly, you mm. shouldn't shoot two. Mm. And I can't speak one English properly, <laughs> so I shouldn't one <laughs> But she, because I, I kept, like, there was this one lady who just kept yelling at us for sitting in other people's seats. And I was trying to ask her, like, I was trying to be polite and be like, well, can you please help me? Like, can you tell me what to do? And she just kept being like, no English, no English. And I was like, I just want some help and I, I can't communicate. And the lady that checked our tickets, I asked her, I was like, so what do we, like, what, how, like, what's the go here? And she said, I was like, when I booked the tickets, we didn't get an option to book a seat. And she said, no, after you book the tickets, you've then got to log back in with the train number and then book your seat. So I was like, oh, okay. No one's ever explained this to me before, so, so thank you. So you've been my you. assistant for six years and you didn't even know this. With, has it been a problem in the past six years? It could have been. Has it been? I don't know. Well, it hasn't. So she explained that to me and then said so the next train we have to catch, I logged in and I did exactly what she said. And I was like, thank you, very kind lady, for explaining something that no one has explained to me before. Yeah, it was a friggin' nightmare, but we made it. And we got to this we got to our okay Air. Airbnb and three stories of car- carrying luggage up. Which they didn't say in the listing. Can which... you read my train ticket? It said senior. When I booked the train ticket, it had <laughs> passengers and it was like until 60 years old. And I was like, well, Peter's over 60, so I have to put him as senior. Thanks. Well, it's the truth. It was, it asked your age. And I said, well, I had to, I couldn't lie. But we got to this, and like the Airbnb's fine. I mean, it's not, it's nothing glamorous. It's comfortable or modern. It's, it's It's not, it's not housing commissions, but it's very empty. It doesn't feel lived in, but I mean, it's got, couch is fine. It's got. A TV that doesn't plug in anywhere. TV that's, but that's. That's what, we've got HDMI. I mean, it's got a dining table. It's got a fully function. Actually, the kit, kitchen actually seems really nice. It's got it's got everything that we need. It just doesn't feel lived in. It just kind of feels like a shell of a place. But it's fine. At least there isn't like lights hanging from bringing coat hangers. Coat hangers, yeah. At least there's no bars on the window. It's not the most. It's not the Ritz Carlton, but it's it's livable. And check out the toilet. Toilet's fine. You don't have to shelve. Oh my god, the shelf. I oh, yes, I learned about the German poo shelf. Because the studio that we were at, even though in the I last know, I couldn't place, believe how long your skid marks went. Shut. Shh. <laughs> they didn't, okay? I couldn't work out sorry. 
all this problem, why don't you just lay down a layer of paper, then do your poo on the paper. You can expect it. Once you're happy you've seen it, and then can press the button, and it'll slip off on the paper. Oh, because you didn't think of that, did I you? I don't do poos. I just thought it was weird, and so I Googled it. So how do you know it's a shoulder? Because I thought it looked weird, so I Googled it. <clears throat> but Anne and I's toilet at the last place had this, like, shelf. shelf. And I think the studio was worse. The studio one was the studio worse. Was, that like had a, sh- a full platform <laughs> for you to lay it on. And then once you've inspected it properly, you could press the button. It would remove it into another area. But it would leave a train line on the way <laughs> to the station. But I Googled it and there's a full name for it. And apparently they have these toilets like this to reduce splashback. And that's why they have them like this. But then I also was reading that they have... You throw some toilet paper into a toilet and it doesn't splash back? But so that they have it so to reduce splash back, but also so that you can, for medical reasons, you can see how healthy your poo is. And also if you need to, like, get a sample to take to your doctor, it's easier to... Apparently there's all these reasons why they have this... And there's a full name for it. They have so a name you, for skin. Did you do sample collecting? No, but sure? I said like... I, this. The so knife and forks were looking a bit gross the other day. <laughs> but you didn't get in there with a knife and fork and dissect it, did you? I went down this rabbit hole about these interesting toilets. I sent it to Jared and there's a full name for skid marks and like... A it full was German, called skid marks. No, a full German name for it. I'm like, Jared was like dying. So what was it? Oh, I have it. You can't. I can't you remember can't do it. That to us. Well, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But where's my phone? Shit, where's you? your phone? Could it be oh, sitting right, right next to you? I couldn't see. It was Did you another like another one with that? Paper? Shut up! It was blending into everything. Where is it? It was. Oh my god! It was a full name for it. And Jared was pissing himself laughing. Anyway, Any, so no, no, no me... more shelving toilets. Shelving toilets. <laughs> Yeah. What are you looking for? Looking for the thing I sent to Jared that it is, um, yeah, so, I mean, this might, yeah, so it's like without gravity as a tidying aid, the poo shelf requires a wild torrent flush to sweep away your excrement. <laughs> and while the flush is powerful, it is seldom enough to leave a squeaky clean bowl, I meaning this might be the moment you think to learn the word brems. Bremstreifen. Bremstreifen. So do they have a Bremstreifen brush or do you just use your toothbrush? I use yours, if anything. Oh, I felt like it tasted a bit spanky. It was a little bit of protein. Proteins. <laughs> this You're is hopeless. disgusting. This is probably the grossest podcast we've done. People are just waking up and having breakfast. <laughs> and we're talking about Bremstreifen. And German poo shells. German poo shells. Such, on a, your. such a strange experience. I wait, Someone commented on one of our podcasts saying that we always say that every workshop we do, did is the best. Mm. So he said we should wait a couple of months later and still say if it was the best. But I'm not going to dish a workshop that may be 9.9s. Because someone had a 9.95. Huh? Huh? Well, they said we shouldn't say straight after a workshop it was the best. Mm. We should wait a couple of months. Right. Because there might have been a better one. Well, I mean, it's hard. I know we always do say, oh, it was the best. But, like, it's hard because, and I think someone tried to ask me, like, oh, don't lie, like what actually has been the best. But these days, like since after COVID and since things have changed, like everyone's just kind of on the same level. Like, like we have the odd one that doesn't flow as well because there'd be one or two people in the group that sort of put the thing the, down. But most For the most of, part, they're all just, they all just like are good now. Like, and they're all just great. Like everyone's just. Yeah, look, the in, England one, Shoreditch was great. Great. And we just Last finished. week in Berlin, great. Berlin was like, great. Like, and I, and really, people's like, oh, really which one was better? I can't, like, I can't put either one up or down because they're, they're just like they're on the same level. Like everything's just. And different things happen on different workshops. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. I was fine if a workshop goes quick. It was good. Yes. But I have noticed that the 
groups are coming uh, really, well, I can't believe how quick they're getting through the shooting now. They've been really respectful to learn. Yeah, because they're so not now, taking it I've actually it as added a... in like the last, um, definitely the one in Berlin, I added in two new looks. They got through everything so quick. Because they weren't there just to like get. Shoot them up. Shoot they were there, them to, up. Learn. They were there yeah. to learn. They were really good. We had a really cool, we had a DJ for a DJ guy who was oh, really awesome. cool. I was so connected with him. Yeah. You guys were talking for ages about music and stuff. And when you started like showing your videos and he's like, you wrote this. Like. <laughs> but then, you know, that, uh, over mono, mm. I showed him a set he did with Freddie and he Wow, I've never seen this. Thing. You watched it that night. And goes, that was amazing. I feel like I had to kind of pull you back into line to because you started talking to him about music, and I was like, Peter, you need to start talking to everyone else about, about photography. photography. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking about music so much. It was a cool. Like I a, know you really bonded with really, him, really but you just like. It's... But then you just like started like going music, and I was like. Peter, not everyone in the room is here to listen to you. There's another guy <laughs> who had, owns a studio, like a recording studio. Yeah, and, and then again, you saw, and I was like, <laughs> Peter, photography, not music. <laughs> I talk to him all the time. It was fun to talk music. I know, but people have come to learn photography, not music. But no, it was, it was cute to see you get back to your little musical roots. Your roots. My roots. Your roots. Pervert. <laughs> No, it was good. I really enjoyed Berlin had such a vibe as well. It was But I, I told you that. I told you I love. The I last know. time I came to Berlin, I went out on my own because my assistant didn't want to go doing? out. Sorry? What are you doing? I'm just slowly tearing my quanti jammies apart. Why are, you t- why are you trying to tear your pants well, apart in front of I me? A dangly bit. I don't need to know what you're doing. Sorry I um, asked. No, but last time I decided she didn't want to go and I found a white noise club. And I had the best night out. I don't know, it's just, I think for partying, they've got some really cool sort of, it's just not commercial. That's what I like so much about it. Mm. And it's so cool. Just we're sitting out having a drink after the natural light workshop. We had everyone, we just sat in a, a little bar at the front of a bar. And there's just people walking past and everyone owns what they're look, wearing. Everyone there's this like six style. foot three goth with black hair. She had this cool outfit, but she was carrying a skateboard. She had docks. I thought, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> but it was just a goth with a skateboard. I don't think I've ever seen that. But it was really cool. And the DJ guy was showing me some pictures he was taking. He said, you go out there, these people that wear their look, you come up to them with a camera, they want you to photograph them. Mm. They let you go, yeah, cool. Well, let me shoot you because I've spent like two hours getting dressed up in this shit. I want someone to notice me. I was just checking with everybody. Talking about getting noticed was so funny today. We're in Berlin at the station mm. and the lifters come up and two people got out and the American actor goes, You're you- Beck. I know you, you're Beck. No, you're he just Beck. looked at me, he was like, he's like, I know you guys. <laughs> I love your <laughs> photography and your back. <laughs> like, Hi guys. So funny. <laughs> it was really cool. It was cute. So cute. I do like. And then Anne's like, you guys get recognised everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it cute when that happens because to me, in my head, like we're just us. But then I do remember, like, but we are still just us. We are still just like us. Everyone but then at the workshop just goes, "You're exactly the same as." I don't have time to be fake. I can't be bothered. And one of the models, I can't, I can't remember. One of the models looked us up. Mm. She was booked, so I think she might have seen my YouTube. Uh, sorry, my Insta, and then found our YouTube. And then she come and goes, "You're exactly the same as what you are on your YouTube." I said, "Well, that's because that's who we are." Yeah, I don't have time to be fake. Like. Yeah. How annoying if you like, like, can you think about how frustrating that would be if you've got to like put on this like fake thing and then like that's not who you are and then you meet people and you've got to like do something different. Like that would just be exhausting. I can't be bothered. I'm, I'm not really good at that. Stuff, I'm just so me. I'm me. just so much I'm better just, just be me. I'm just, yeah, I think we both are. We're just us. But it was, again, it was really interesting. I'm loving, I don't know, every time we do a workshop and I'm, so it's always, we've always got two or three models I've never worked with. And I know you cringe a bit, but I cringe it myself. Like, who am I going to butt heads with now? Mm. 
because I'm going to break you in front of this group of people. And every single time at the end of the workshop, they all say, I can't believe how much I learnt, mm. the models. So it's always amazing. They always agree with me too that I say to them, you know, you've, you started off, you, you might have got scouted on a bus stop or someone said you should be a model, you went to the agency. There's no training whatsoever. You're just thrown in on test shoots with photographers at the lowest end of what an agency would give for a test. So just basically after some free photography to get their portfolio built. And their learning is coming from somebody who really hasn't even learnt their own skill as a photographer. Yeah. But no, it's really cool. I did, especially the last model. She was, mm. yeah, she was, she was really lovely. cool. She had like a, she had a really good attitude as well, like. Yeah, she got a great attitude. Well, there's a couple, the one in London, the e-com girl. Oh, Everyone did. couldn't believe. When you do the e-com when thing. When I do the e-com thing. And the first thing, like, how many clothes have you done in the day? And she goes, 300. And was going, what? No way. <laughs> yeah, it's changed 300 Imagine times in the day. Yeah. And then she's got in there and I've set, I just set my tripod up teaching, you know, this is what e-com is, this is why I don't like it. And I just start shooting and she, they get a rhythm and I just stop looking at the model and talking to everyone and continually <laughs> shoot. And she just works her macarena and with her it was amazing. I just started shooting quicker. She just macarena quicker. It was pretty funny. That was good. Now everything's been really good. And, like, I kind of feel, I know, like, all my friends have, like, have been asking me because I can't believe how many friends I have. <laughs> no, but all my friends have been like, so how's Europe? Like... You haven't been posting much on your story, like, and I'm like, well, one, I'm here for work, so it's not a holiday. I don't really have awfully much exciting things to report on. Like, it's either work or if I'm not on a workshop, I'm back here doing admin. Like, it's just not, or I'm going out for dinner and then coming back and watching a movie and going to bed. Like, it's not a holiday. It's not super exciting. And also things have just been, like, good. Like, Good. It's, I think things are fine. It's Except food's still a pain. Food's, food's hard. hard. Food's always hard. So I can't remember, it was the last podcast that we'd been to Blues Bar, it was Av. We cancelled it. We'll never I go there again. I think so, yeah. yeah. So we went back to Smokehouse, Smoke Smoke and Smoke. that was awesome. And then when we got into Berlin, like last night, a kebab does not have curry, potatoes. What else was in there? <laughs> Uh, it was a bit. It was, it was a lot. And yeah. like, like the garlic sauce had like mint in it. The the well, taste. I've had that before though. Yeah. You just don't like mint. I hate You're an mint. anti-mint person. I hate mint. Like, like, but like, no, artificial mint is toothpaste. But like, actual mint, like a hate. Oh, that was that drink that the shot someone gave me. It was. But like I can I'm, handle that. I'm not a big fan of tooth. I don't like the taste of toothpaste. Oh, I can handle that. I, I knew just, it was a shot of toothpaste. Blah, blah, blah. I can't handle like actual, like I cannot stand mojitos. Like mojitos are like one of the worst cocktails in my opinion. I hate them. Disgusting. I hate I wouldn't say milk. I hate it, but it's not something I drink. Mm, disgusting. Mm. But we, when we, got, we had really nice ramen in Berlin, when, our first meal we had in Berlin. You didn't like, your first mouthful was... Ugh, it's funky. No, I was like, oh, because it it's wasn't. It's gritty. Yeah, I wasn't used to it. But then the more I had, the more I liked it. And then I had like pretty much the whole bowl. And then you ate the rest of my bowl. And then I had some more of yours. And then we went home then and you went, I went to, to bed. bed and, you and I figured, ordered McDonald's. <laughs> Uber eats from McDonald's. I woke up the morning and McDonald's. Having back out there. a little, I was having a pig out day, okay? A pig out day. Sometimes I like to have a pig out day. I don't know, it's not every day, but sometimes I'll just have a little pig out day and even Jared's like, some days Jared's like, how can you eat this much? Where does it go? No, no, I've seen you just devour a full pizza <laughs> a few times. It's just like the whole thing's gone, where did that go? And that, well, I just, like, but it's not every day. It's just like sometimes I just have a full pig out day where I'm just like. And that was one of those days that I had a bowl of ramen and some of yours and then a double cheeseburger <laughs> and some curly fries and then a McFlurry and like three quarters of a bottle of wine and sat on the couch and watched a movie and then went to bed. Good day, all in all. Oh, good day. Good day. It was fun. Fun. Mm.
even Anne, like, because Anne was <laughs> still awake when my Maccas came and she was like, are you serious? Like, after the ramen we just had, she's like, I am so full. Yeah, oh, yeah, Anne <laughs> emptied her bowl. It was completely 100% empty, not a drip left. I just wanted Maccas. Mm. Well, that's what I mean. Southern Comfort's been so much easier to find. I haven't gone out of my way yet to find it. I wouldn't speak too soon. Well, that's all right. I hope we can, because I went to After the, Berlin, I should drink a little bit less. <laughs> we, did, we did hit it pretty hard. But I went to the, any German's going to crucify me. I don't know how to actually say it, but I call it the Rewe, which is like the grocery store. <laughs> Yeah, but in, when we were in Berlin, mm. remember there was the two railways and we said, well, which one do we go into? And you said, they're not the same. I said, look, it's the same sign. Mm. Well, the other one is the same size as that one, but it's all alcohol. I've now learnt there's a word for drinks in German and I've learnt what that word is. What is and it? the other, I can't pronounce, it's like good, good trank or something, I don't know, but... The other side had that word and then the other one said, like, supermarket. So that meant, like, drink store, food store. Oh. I've learned. I've been in You've Germany learned. for a week now. I'm, like, still can't speak a lick of it, but. I must admit, whenever we're travelling with Anne, she always makes she get stinky cheese and stink the whole place. And then she sunk the train out today. <laughs> so we went to the supermarket the other day. There was a little cart out the front that was like just cheese and it's like kind of like deli cheese and Anne just gets all excited because she loves her cheese. So she goes and gets like all these and she was just like loving life. I tried I think one of them and I was like Bleh. But Anne was loving herself and then she puts Don't a you like fungus feet? <laughs> She puts the leftovers in the fridge and then the next day Peter went to get something out the fridge and I was like, it smells like feet. Like, I can't, I can't. It's so stinky. It's Sorry, so stinky. Anne. <laughs> 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 I love you. I smelt it on the tray now. I wondered how many other people. I still reckon people thought we had yeast infections. Oh, my God. It was so <laughs> stinky. Even in, when we were in the cab because, like, it was in the bag and I was... I was like, mm, I could oh, smell, smell it in the cab too, yeah. Oh, could. And then Anne's like, but I've got it in a Ziploc bag and then it's in a plastic bag and then it's in this other bag. And I'm like, I can still smell that stinky cheese. And then funky sparkling water. There's something, German sparkling water it's doesn't. weird. But then my bottle was in Anne's bag with funky cheese. So <laughs> when I opened up, the outside <laughs> of the bottle had funky cheese smell on it and just made the water taste even worse. Yeah, my, mine was fine. I know it's just got a weird... I don't know. There's something weird about it. I don't know what it is. Maybe we're just fussy. I'm yes. just complaining. We're always, you're the fussiest person I know. <laughs> I don't think I've met a fussier person than you. I feel bad for us. We go to other countries and just like complain. Complain about the other countries in the world. <laughs> well, no, sorry. No, we, 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 don't we had a lot. I loved don't Berlin. Need to like this. I did. I loved Berlin it. It was... had such a vibe. But like I said, last time I was in Berlin, I had. Had some of the best shoots. Like, I had three or four days straight with iconic models, and all of there's just a whole heap of photos I've taken, which has always been some of my favourite photos. So strange that we didn't get a reply at all. Yeah, I just think the whole world, well, we know what it's like because we we're talking about this with agencies and even with models, where mm. a model doesn't even get a phone, it doesn't even get a notification that. We're looking for models, and then they say, "No, we haven't got any." And then the model goes, "I would have done it in a drop of hat." Yeah. And then we go to like in our uh, Frankfurt. Yeah, like, here. Here's a thousand models. What yeah. do you want? And then we Berlin, who used to bend over backwards for me, wouldn't even answer emails. No. And then we end up to use the Frankfurt agency and say, to, "Do you know anyone in Berlin?" Which thankfully they did. But yeah, no, it's just it just comes down to who answers the email, like. It's, yeah, it's, it's who answers the email, it's a booker. It's like with Wilhelmina in New York, like he was amazing. So we couldn't get an answer off Wilhelmina in LA. LA. He made one single email or phone call. Yeah, I just. LA goes, yeah, no worries, here go. So I contacted the our contact for Wilhelmina in New York and was like, hey, I'm having a lot of trouble. I haven't gotten anyone from LA, Wilhelmina, to reply. Do you know anyone? He was like, yep, CC'd such and such in. They're basically... 
me, but over in LA, and then whoop, here bang, you go. Yeah, <laughs> his models bang. It's just the person. And that then he's just moved to another agency. He sends us a message, right? I'm here now. Yeah, just want to keep it. So the bookers are so important. So important. That's all it comes down to, but it's tricky. And that's all, yeah, but that's all it is. It's just whoever the booker is and who's going to read your email and take the time of day whether they're going to be like, eh, nah, this is nothing, or if they're going to research who you are. Like, I don't know, just, it really depends. It's I hard. think there's also um, when we're looking for girls, or well, not just for um, workshops or even testing, I think there's been a lot of bad experiences. Like we mm. do hear some horror stories. Horror stories. So the agencies are most likely start to go, nah, no, too no. many mm. too many bad, bad things. And so how do you trust someone? But I was talking to one of the models we had on Natural Light last week and about this. Um but when she got there I went up and was like, hey I'm back and gave like my usual spiel of like, so we're from Australia. That one over there, that's Peter. He's my boss. He's a photographer. He's weird. <laughs> he's, no, I don't say that anymore. But used I'm like, to. I used to. I used to, but it weird. freaked everyone out, so I don't say that anymore. <laughs> I used to be like, he's a little bit weird, and all the models would be like, what do you mean weird? And I'm like, no, 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 like he's harmless. He's just like dad Difference. jokes. He's just dad joke vibes. Like he's he, he's fine. But They always like me, so I, I, that's why, that. I don't say that anymore. I was like, I was like, so he's a photographer. We're from Australia. These are some photographers who are here to learn some of them are hobbyists some of the professionals like but anyway they're here to learn from Peter I was like Peter talks a lot so a lot of this is you kind of standing around then Peter's going to teach them light and he's going to teach model stuff but um easy day if you need anything let me know and she's like oh cool and then halfway during the day I was we were walking to a new spot and I was chatting with her and one of the photographers and she's like, I have learned so much in the last two hours. Like, and I was like, right. And so and she's like, and you said that you were struggling to get models in Berlin. I was like, yes, because I have the same pitch I send to agencies and, but how do like, for them, they're thinking, oh, it's just a workshop. Like, Biff, that's nothing for us. Like, it's not a big campaign. So they just instantly go like, oh, I'm not even replying to that. Whereas they not understanding that, no, Peter's going to teach your models so much so that when they do get booked for those bigger jobs, they're going to be even better. But how do we tell them to that without sounding like we're big noting ourselves? And she was just well, like... Well, you can't. You can't. As exactly. soon as you say it, they're just going to say you're big noting. Exactly. And then she was like, absolutely. And she's like, I've learned so much. But I was like, but how do I say that? She's like, you can't. And she was just completely, like, on the same page as me. But then one of the agencies goes, oh, these photos are coming through are incredible. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so tricky. Like, I just, I, know, I just roll with the punches and take it as it comes. And it's like even when you're a model, you've got to deal with 99 no's to get one yes. So I just, I don't know. If we don't get a reply from an agency, I just kind of move on and just go to the next one. And Still comes down to the world has changed a lot when yeah. it comes to things like that. It's a, the e-com, which most models, you know, it earns them a bit of money, but they're never going to use the pictures in their hmm. folio. They're never going to put them on Insta or social media. And they've got to do 300 clothes chains in a day, which is not fun. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. Hopefully it's changing. I've, I've seen a lot of, there's a lot more, really cool looking underground magazines starting again. Now a lot of them are still online, but they're still selling real copies. Um, but it seems to be this, like some of the stuff that like Rihanna's last two shoots have been amazing. And I'm just seeing that the industry's changing. Like Mark Jacobs did a really cool campaign the other day and there's some really cool stuff happening. So I think we might've got to the bottom of we're scraping the barrel. Scraping the barrel. I, I'm starting to see people, well, even myself, I'm going, I haven't worked out how I'm going to do it. I want to do a tutorial about me going through my Twitter feed or my X feed. And it's amazing how many pictures I just go, meh. It's a pretty girl. It's, she might be half naked, but it's just a meh picture. You just, 
the second you flick off it, you've forgotten it. And it just seems everything's gone down to just this very... I nit- thought Twitter nit- you were nit- getting the best things. No, I'm still, get- but I'm still getting feeds that I go and see anywhere else. Right. But since I've been liking my feeds, I've been getting other stuff which is just you half-naked have- women. You what? have one bit of hair sticking out. Leave my hair alone, you pervert. <laughs> you just want me to look at you and play with my hair. Oh, my God. We watched a movie last night and Beth just kept on looking at me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Why? Were you, what? I don't know. You just, you're just weird during that movie. So I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just couldn't stop folks. You just had this tuft of hair and it looked really That's silly. why I cropped people before the t- top of the... Leave my tuft alone. I don't have much left on the top. You look Maybe it funny. was getting excited. I don't know. <laughs> Pervert. Um, oh, you just killed me now. No, you were talking about the bottom of the barrel and feeds and Mark Jacobs and stuff. Yeah, and you, yeah, but in my even on the train, I was going through my feed a bit today. Going, yeah, seriously, I went through thirty pictures where so many people go, oh, that's cool, that's cool. I'm just going, it's boring as like it's nothing. There's nothing in it. And all of a sudden, some picture will come up with just something completely different. You go, that's cool. Mm. I don't know. I just... What's that movie you watched last night? What was it called? Poor Things. Poor Things. That was so good. Highly recommend. Yeah, because it's so different to anything you've seen. So it was a And you just of... kept calling the main character Beck. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit like Beck, especially the way she walked. It's definitely a Beck walk. <laughs> it was really good. If you guys... I think, I think Emma Stone might have won an award for it. It was the main character and it's really good. And what's his name? Um, oh, the male. Um, Willem Dafoe. Willem Mark, Dafoe. Or Mark Ruff, Ruffalo? No, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe was, really good. Yeah, the whole movie was really good. I love movies where you just have got no, no idea what's good. going to happen next. We watched another really good one. It's really dark, so I'm not going to recommend it. It was called Martyrs. It's a it's a horror movie, but it's an older. So, but it's an older horror movie, so it is very gory, but it's not so much visual I gore. Say it's super gory. No, it wasn't visual gore, but it's really it is, mental. But it is it's one of those movies. And I as priest said, but Beck went and had to have a look. I told her you don't want to know about it because the movie goes. You can't work out what this movie is about. Is it a horror? Is it aliens? Is it self? You can't work out what it's, it's really about. Good. But it is a really cool movie. Should I put links in the description? You can put links to Martyrs. It is a, believe me, it is a very heavy horror movie. You guys, I'll, just put the the, one, I'll put the IMDb link and then you guys can find out how to find it yourself. But I'm not going to give a spoiler alert, but there's one, I can say this because nobody's seen it. I wonder what she said at the end. Just, did she tell the truth or did she lie? Don't just answer. Don't, just, no. I hate, you always do this. You always no, make, but, there's a really good movie. It's got a really good twist. And then I spend the entire movie being like, oh, what's the twist? Oh, is that the twist? Is that the twist? Just, just don't say anything. Just say it's really good and leave it at that. All right, I'll leave it at that. But it reminded me, I always want to know. <laughs> I can't help it. You've got to talk about a movie afterwards. I know. But or maybe can. not on a podcast. No, it's not with other people. That's for other people's. No, I don't want them We've to. We've had two movie nights in this trip. I know. I love it. I love movie nights. Movie nights are the funnest. Uh, well, funnest. The funnest. <laughs> Such correct. Do we have to make, we should make uh, Anne watch Best in Show. We should make Anne watch Best in Show. I think she'd like that. I think she would as well. And that was how movie nights started. It was. Pardon? I don't trust you anymore. Why don't you trust us anymore? The <laughs> Martyrs was great. <laughs> You said you liked it, didn't you? Or did you have nightmares? Oh, you said you had weird dreams. Sorry. She was traumatized. Yeah, traumatized uh, yeah. So she started having watching super your own weird risk. dreams. <laughs> I really I think it. there's something, was it Berlin or somewhere? One place we stayed, we all had weird dreams. I had weird dreams there. Yeah, so I had some surreal, stupid dreams that didn't make sense. I often have weird dreams. I don't know. My brain's a bit broken. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. I only have weird dreams in London. I think I did as well. Oh, did I you? think I just always have. I just have really. I must admit, I've been sleeping so much better on this trip. Normally, first night in a new place, I don't sleep at all. Mm. I think it's a watch. <laughs> and you find that does the eye watch make you sleep better too? What does? The eye watch. 
Oh, you're no fun. See, Anne's on my side, Peter's a schmidget. Well, I can't believe how, how much sleep I've got. It's a couple of nights. I know, you're in sleep credit. I'm in sleep I debt. I'm always in sleep debt. You can't be in sleep debt. Sorry, you slept for like over 24 hours straight. No, not straight. It was in, broke. I was so tired. I was already tired from, I don't know, I've just been tired and I just needed to sleep. And I slept. I slept. But I've been keeping on top of things. I feel like normally when we're traveling, I get a little bit excited and I get a little bit caught up in everything and I fall behind. But I've actually like, I feel Weren't kind you of... just telling me a minute ago you were so far behind? Yeah, but then I'm on the train. I was like, nope, nope, nope. And I was like, okay. Now I've only got... But the only thing I'm, like, behind on is we're about to put up America. Yes, America's coming very soon. Very soon. So that's the only thing I'm behind on, but the internet was absolutely shit house on the train. That's good here. We've got great internet here. Yeah, but I couldn't... Like, the train, like... I remember last year when we were in Frankfurt, I was... You, you were teaching, we're in the middle of workshops, and so you're teaching, models are sorted, everything's all fine. So I'm like, perfect, this is my time to put everything up for America. And the internet, the studio, where I was sitting, I had the shittiest reception and it just wasn't loading and it kept cutting out. And what should have taken me like two to three hours took me like a whole like seven hour day just because the internet kept dropping out and then I'd have like 20 minutes to like grab my laptop and run around and try and get it to it just took me so long to try and get so that was frustrating so I need to get that done ASAP but America's coming very soon we'll date we'll to book and dates and all that stuffs yeah if you're on the mail list it'll be out what two or three no it'll be out round about the day after or a couple of days after this goes live. Maybe. 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 You know, it's it's really work. soon. I do my job properly. It'll be up really soon. But yeah, I just need to do that. Other than that, I'm pretty on top of things. I'm behind. Are you? Oh, well, I, we, Anna did a really fun little short tutorial for Inspire, which was horrible hotel corridor light. And then we used bathroom toilet light, which isn't as bad. And that came to, even though we stuffed it up by me forgetting to turn my sound on and we recorded the whole thing without <clears> my sound. We had to record it a second time. But it still came together all right. I was happy with that, but I um, don't know if yesterday worked. Mm. I haven't looked at it yet, but I just f- didn't feel it when I was. I thought it looked cool. All right, we'll see. I haven't looked at, I haven't gone to edit yet, so it might be cool. It's just sometimes at my the back. end of film, I think, eh, I didn't do that very well. Oh, my back. What are you doing? My back. You said sitting the way I was sitting. I know. That's why I said I'm going to sit back against you, and you said you're going to sit out in the middle of nowhere, in no man's oh, land. Because I don't want to look chonky. I'm already oh. wearing cosy pants and a baggy T-shirt. I decided to. Oh, you're, you're wearing Emirates pants. I am. They're so soft. Did I get the ET top for you? No. <laughs> oh, no, this is actually really bad for my back. Oh, maybe I'll I know, that's why I'm sitting here. I'd be, oh. My back would be stuffed. Oh, you're going to go sleep now? No, I'm just stretching my back for a second and then I'll sit up again. You'll sit up again. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Something and so much for Beck actually doing any shoots with me this trip. She shoots with everyone else, but won't shoot with me. I've done one shoot with one other photographer. How many are you on with me? How many have you bailed on? A couple. A couple. <laughs> it's like it's all right. I'm, just, it's I'm stirring you. Bad. Uh, we've had. <laughs> I love making you feel bad. Reasons out of our control. <laughs> Either I've felt I've had a shit mental health day, or I've woken up with some weird dizzy spell. And the the dizzy spell, like I was telling Tisha, like. The, the day we were going to shoot in Berlin and I woke up and I was like, I don't feel good. I feel really dizzy. And I was telling, and then the next day we had the natural light and I told Tisha, I was like, I don't know what happened because the day before I, I ate heaps. I had ramen. I had McDonald's. I went to bed. McDonald's. I went to bed at like 11.30. You didn't drink that much. I did not drink that much. I was like 
And Tasha was just piercing herself. She's like, I love that you're checking the boxes. I ate. I didn't <laughs> drink too much. I went to bed early. I'm like, yes, exactly. Like, I don't have any reason that I would. Like, normally if I wake up and I feel lightheaded, it's like um, you're hungover or something or you didn't eat enough yesterday. But, like, no, it was just strange. So, and, and the other day I just, I don't Mm. was hungover and couldn't <laughs> but I'll, I'll own that I'll just say I was hungover <laughs> so I couldn't shoot but yeah you're talking just, about Monday on a Tuesday yeah <laughs> that's right you didn't go to bed we didn't go to bed Monday <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was like I was up like 8.30 had a shower I think Anne wandered out about 10.30 you wandered out about 11.30 then 10 minutes later you're freaking laying back in your bed Airing my dirty laundry, please. And now I suggested, Everyone why, always why has don't you it. shut all the curtains so it's a black room, you go to sleep again. Everyone <laughs> I has... did that and it's like five hours later. <laughs> Everyone has a go at me always drinking too much. No, you weren't drinking too much. You weren't drinking any more than I was. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> What's the silence at all? <laughs> no, it's just ever, it's, it's like unladylike for me oh, to yes. drink. Oh, yes, yes, we... I'm not allowed Unfortunately, to. Unfortunately, Pet gets picked on way too much about my drinking. Your drinking, but a lot Whatever. of it's our little fun and games anyway. I don't care. It's our. I don't care. People can judge. Only God they can. They do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they can. I don't care. People can judge away. I know the truth and that's fine. I don't care. Sick of justifying myself, to be quite honest. Change the subject. Yes, please. I'm really enjoying travelling again with the House of Lead. Oh, yes. Workshops are just so much easier, so much more fun. I panicked when we were getting on the train today because I saw the House of bag next to you and I was like helping load everything on and I didn't see Anne grab it and went to the first our first seats in the quiet carriage. I didn't see that and I was helping you and then all of a sudden I'm like, where's the House of bag? And you're like, you had it and I'm like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, You did. You got on the plane it? with it. I'm not not no, playing on the train. No, I didn't. I was then, doing four other bags. You no, took No, Anne took oh. it because it was a little one and right. I didn't see her grab it. That's why I said to you, I was like, where is it? Like, you had it. I'm like, no, I didn't. And then I freaked out and I look up and Anne had it and I'm like, oh, my God, thank God. Whew, because if that thing goes missing, <laughs> shizer. <laughs> well, it's worse. We've got two backs in there. That's why I was freaking out, yeah. but it's all right. It, it's fine. But, yes, I know you're very happy having your little, your bebe. A baby. You love your bebe. I, but I'm also liking that shooting. So I do one session with the Leica tethered into Lightroom and I do like that everyone can see why I like the Hasselblad so much for the ease. Because Lightroom there, overexposure warnings don't work. Mm. They see the problems I have with, I've got to take a picture and look at the back of the Leica to see the overexposure warnings because the Lightroom one doesn't work. But then they also see once we get to the end of it, I can get a very similar looking picture. So what's it? I told you not to sit like that. Oh my gosh. I don't want to sit like this. I look gross. I look like a weird frog lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm Maybe interrupting you. Are a weird you. Frog lady. I most likely am. So I've got one more week here. Oh yes, we just got in today, so we've got another yeah. week here, mm -hmm. and off to Geneva's. Geneva's, and leave just for a couple of days, and then we go to Milan's Milan. Pizza. Oh, you're not allowed to eat pizza anymore. You told me. I told you I didn't have good pizza. I said I'm not eating crap pizza. We get so, to see Tess in a few days? Yeah, we see Tess, so... While we're here. While we're here, yeah. Be good, and then we go to Milan. We should try and do a podcast with Charlie's Angels, with Peter's Angels. <laughs> oh my God. Like we did in Paris last year. I know, I'm down to. All right, we'll try and do that. We'll try. We'll see if we can convince the other angels. The other angels. <laughs> it was really cool because we caught up with Shay in Berlin, and that's what it's called. Cool. And I was catching up again with her in Paris. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I have Are you burping? No, I have the hiccups. Those. The hiccups. The hiccups. And? And? You're getting tired. You're running out of things. 
No. I did let you go there 100 miles an hour to start with. I know, I did. I'm sorry. I feel like I spoke really – well, because it's been well, – because I wanted to do a podcast in Berlin and we didn't and I was like, no, we should, we should. And I just feel like I had so much to say at first and now I feel like I just went blah, 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 blah and like got everything out and now I'm like, oh, that was like – I just kind of wanted to talk about the jam and push up. I can't <laughs> – I had something else I wanted to talk about Berlin and I forgot it. Doesn't matter. We never went to that wine salon that we stayed next to. The which? The wine bar that we stayed next to. Yeah, I don't think I spoke English. Doesn't matter. There's pointing. There's pointing. <laughs> I don't think they did food. Doesn't matter. There's wine. <laughs> of course I would book us a place that's right next door to a wine bar. Literally right next door. And we never went there. That's all right. It was... <laughs> and just yelled out our house was a wine bar. <laughs> what we was can. worse is the only way for us to get, so we don't want the Airbnb to see 7,000 bottles in there when they come and clean up. The only <laughs> way to get to the party. rubbish room, we had to, I had to go through the toilet window. <laughs> and literally Anne's just handing bags of empty bottles out the toilet window to me to go out the back but where we, the rubbish bins were. We get this problem a lot when we stay in places and we yeah, don't after like. After one night we go, oh, they're going to think we had a party. No, not one night. <laughs> after like a couple of days we're like. Oh, shit, they're going to think that we threw a party and then they're probably going to give us a bad review, but we haven't thrown a party. We're just like, we're we, just, had, we, bought we like half alcohol. Bottles. We bought half bottles of wine and it looks like we drank four bottles. <laughs> so then we've got to dispose of them and then we've got to find where to put them and it's always a problem because we don't want them to think. There's been a couple of places where we, I've, like, I've definitely looked at it and been like, they are going to actually think we threw an absolute rager here. Yeah, but then we'll have people like Anne will drop other people. It's not just us. It's, no, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Like there was one year, it was 2019 when Anne travelled with us last when we stayed in Milan and I think we were there for like 10 days or something. And by the end of that, that kitchen was like. Oh, that's right. We couldn't, was, we couldn't get to the actual shelf. It was so bad. Like I had like emptied a bottle of crack and there was like God knows how many champagne bottles of Anne, how many Southerns and the Coronas from There wouldn't you. have been Southern for me because I couldn't find any. No, Anne went out uh, and found you. That's and how was, Anne did find me. There was Southern and Fireball from you. There was all this red wine. There was, all this, there was just so many bottles and I just remember the three of us being like, this looks like the biggest rager. It's just been us <laughs> over the past ten days. <laughs> Shit, we should really sort this out. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, but we also have models and that come to. Oh, Tess came and stayed for a bit. Yeah, as it's well. not just us. There's other people <laughs> come in. <laughs> Can't we help just it. look bad, but it was shared around a bit further than. Can't help it. We're Australian. Nobody ever counts my sparkling water. Well, I did. I did. 12 well of sparkling water in four days. Did you? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, it's five days. That's why no one judges you for drinking your straight alcohol. They only judge me for my water. But I drink sparkling water. So do I. And tap water. I don't drink toilet water. I can't do toilet water. I drink heaps of water. I always hydrate. I just don't on the podcast because it's like, it feels a bit sacrilege. Yeah, I just can't do toilet water. Toilet water. Well, even at the, the restaurants, I've been out, it's warm, and you go to drink it and you smell chlorine. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I do miss Mel- Melbourne tap water, is the best. Yeah, it was very funky the water in both London and. Yeah. Maybe I'm a, I think I'm a water snob. You're a water snob now. I'm a water snob. You're just a snob snob. Snob snob. Snob snob. What you're looking at? I was just saying how long we've been talking. Oh. I couldn't remember. We were just sitting here rambling about water and Isn't bottles that what we and shit. Do? Just I know. Talk rubbish. I know, but I just couldn't remember how long we've been talking absolute rubbish for. Oh. Talking about our rubbish. It's so entertaining for people. Well, maybe you need to come up with better topics <laughs> <laughs> instead of leaving it to me to talk about shelving. <laughs> I find it cute. The, the more and more people that we meet in real life that say that they just put this podcast on while they're editing and just have it playing in the background and feel like they're hanging out with us and it's just kind of mindless nothing and it gives them a bit of a giggle while they're just like doing editing or doing whatever and they're like, 
Yeah, sometimes there's little bits of information about photography and sometimes it's just a good laugh, but it's it's just fun. and It's just pretty much it's the life of us. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we just turned up any time. It's just what we do. We just talk know, about the loop. It's just like being a little fly on the wall with a Peter and Beck conversation, which we that's what we always wanted this to be, but I do find it cute the amount of people that actually I say that they and, enjoy it. I try and put it. some photography in there. Yeah, I know, and that's what people have, I've, that's like the feedback that I've been getting recently is people saying, I like that every now and then I get a little bit of information, but I mostly just like you two having mindless <laughs> banter. <laughs> so you're welcome. I'm glad we're entertaining. We hope. I hope. We hope. Well, I can put photography in. Yeah, and you do sometimes, every once in a while. Well, I must admit, I've been happy on this trip. It's a photography toilet now. Okay. That I left four 50 mils at lens at home and haven't missed them once. That's because you did your little test thing. I did my test and then realised, why have I even got them? So from that side of things, I've learnt, oh, well, I don't know, we want our toys. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I want these toys that look really cool. At the end of the gay day, they just the same as, huh? The end of the gay. The day. Leave me alone. It's been a long day. You've had me cut like 20 kilos up three flights of step. No, me. not 20. 100 kilos up three flights of step. Drag them around train stations. It's not my fault. It's not my not fault. Not your fault? It's not. I did like it that after all of that, my heart rate was lower than Anne's. And I'm like 20 years older than her. <laughs> anyway, you were saying about your lenses. Yeah, so I was just, I'm really glad I did that thing with Raro before I went away. Hmm. Because I had my heart set on these two little lenses, were antique lenses. But at the end of the day, when I looked at the images, it was like, if anything, hmm. like I love that they're antique and got this, but I felt that I couldn't see so much the antique for how I was using them, but they were harder to use. So it was silly me using them. You know, Makes just a, no, I've been happy. I've been really happy that I did that test. Just, well, I'm glad that you didn't bring them as well because it would have been more shit for you oh, to cart around. The only thing, I'm wishing I didn't bring the pro photo now. Mm. We haven't used it yet. We might. We're only two weeks in. I know. It's a lot of weight in the bags. Yeah, well, we might use it. I'm, I'll make sure we use it. Oh, <laughs> just to make it. Yeah. I'm all worried about a Paris flight where we might have to check in that little wheelie and you might have to carry wheelie? the Leica bag, which weighs a ton. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. That's future. Just all our luggage is over there, maximum. That's all right. That's, that sounds like future us problem. Future problems. Shmany ways. Shmany ways. I'm getting tired. You're getting tired. Yeah. Oh, I'm absolutely staffed. And it's like late. Yes, all right. So we, <laughs> well, have we given them their worth? Yes. Oh, 58. So we just got there. And it's 20 past 10 at night. I know, this is I'm, the latest really podcast we've ever done. So. And yes, I am very tired after today. It was a lot of hard work. Yes. So sorry anyway, that we were tired and rambling. We might be a little bit of flat tonight, but we'll try and be lively for the next one. Sure, we will. We will see. We won't you. wait till nearly 10.30 to do one. No. No. We'll see you guys next week and have a good one. See ya. So what's the photo? Oh, I don't. I can't be bothered thinking of that right now. Oh, thanks. So it's up to me now. Oh, no, we'll find something. Maybe something of us travelling or something. Something of us travelling. Yeah. What about something of you just being silly eating food? Yeah, sure. That sounds fine. All right. So that's a photo we'll put up next week. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.